Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And tonight we're going to be playing some 7800 yeah. games. They are, let me get my notes up, scrambling at the last minute to get things ready. Had to add a little bit of delay to things. Uh, three games tonight. We're going to be playing Skyscraper 2115. Uh, and that's by Synth Papalooza. Awesome. Usually known for music, but this is actually his game. Oh, very cool. Um, Crazy Bricks by Bob DeCrescenzo, aka Pac-Man Plus, Pac who is Plus. in the chat tonight <laughs> to answer all of your questions about uh, the game. And also another game from Pac-Man Plus. Uh, Miss Pac-Man Twin. Yay. Yay! So we get to play another Pac-Man game I love that Pac -Man we games. haven't played yet. Yes. Miss Pac-Man Twin. We can play two simultaneous characters in the game. In the two game. Two Miss Pac-Man. Two Miss Pac-Man. Yes. It's I, not Miss Pac-Man and a ghost. It's two Miss pac man Two Miss Pac-Man. Very nice. Uh, I don't know how I missed this game. These are all games uh, I gathered together because I have not played them and they're from a while back. All nice. of them. Nice. So I'm like, how did I miss these great games? Cool, cool. So we're going to take a look at that. And then in After Dark, we're going to be playing some more Load Runner levels. Okay. Uh, I believe we finished off at level 26 and we'll be going to level 26. 27. Awesome. Just to 27. Uh, no, just one level. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, as many as we... Uh, uh, yeah, I do have paddles. Yes. Uh, my Excellent. first set of paddles were bad. Oh, no. So I uh, found some more paddles, which also delayed me tonight. Mm. Um, and they're better. <laughs> I do need to go through all my paddles and uh, and uh, lubricate them. Yeah. Because uh, they they, got to lubricate little, those paddles. Yeah, they were a little twitchy. <laughs> um, speaking of Twitch, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers scrolling Ooh. down beside Tanya. Can you not? No, go over there. <laughs> uh, 8 bit poet, Alan for Arkham H, Arms Card Coder, Atari 800 XL Rules, Atari 74, Atari H, BR Polka, Captain Man Duty, Charles Stone, Mal, Charles Will, and Colonel Lamage, Keep in his mode, DN, ABC, Doc Moo, Cows, Great Defender, Grosier, Ground Trooper, or Giraffe, or Johnny WC, Kaboomera, Kabuto Kenzo, two ka no. Oh. Kaboomera, Kabuto Kenzo, Carl G. Kenzen, Ken Jennings Invader, Gveltifer, Lambda Express, Lauren TDZ, Mark, Jones, Mark Spacing, Metal Atari, Metal Level, uh, Mick Muse, Mike Sol, Mike Lutow, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mark Desarn, Oop, Mr. Fix, Nathan Strong, Mino, Neo Medial, Nostalgic, Packer, VG Koag, R, Antwitz, R, Amen, C, RC70, Render, Ghost, Repentless, VG, Ricardo, Pim, Six Sweets, Mitty B, Smoke, 3D4, Spicer, S, Mirrors, uh, Teleprompter, The D Train, Welsh, Mantiki, Dan K, Team Events, Trek MD, 2600, X, Ken, X, uh, thank you to all those people who help support the show. And if you want your name scrolling there yeah, and right here. read out fast and badly, mm -hmm. um, you can <laughs> s subscribe to Twitch. It's free with Amazon Prime mm -hmm. and you don't have to see ads if you subscribe. I've, That's I've heard. That's always nice. It is very nice. That is very nice. There's no poll question. There's no mail. There's no news. Yeah. Just getting right into the games yes. tonight. Yes, woo! So, uh, happy Friday, everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to be playing Skyscraper 2115 from 2017. It's by Bobby Clark, uh, also known as Synth Papalooza. He did nice. the code and graphics nice. uh, for this. And Ilya Wilson, who's known as Pac Man Red, who did the graphics as well. Nice. Who is absolutely astounding at character graphics. Oh, cool. Um, they've got an ongoing thread that they've posted in Atari it's age forums. Time. Just... Yum, 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 yum. Oh, the cats are crazy. With just tons and tons of amazing detailed graphics. Mm -hmm. Who triggered that? Carl, Carl G. G. It's time for cat treats for the cats. Yeah. Let's see. Let's get the cats. Cats up there. Oh, I need to change the gra cartridge. Graphics. The cartridge cat. Oh. So it's a good thing uh, that that happened, actually. All right, give, give you time. a little bit of time. You'll have to so, keep track of the, um, the of the treats and the cats. Get who's winning? Oh, I think get there's... your bets in. Okay, get your bets in. Who's starting? Who will me oh, win? Nope. Meow. Yep. Oh. Bat. Right out of the air. Sprite. One zero. Oh, one one. Atari. Oh, it's got the door oh. open. Oh. Two, one. Oh, no. <laughs> Three, one. OK, 
going to throw it in the hole. There you go. <laughs> For, oh my goodness. That's, an, <laughs> that's a new tactic. Okay. Both Throwing of them come in. Come in, come in, come in. Of course, if you throw sp sprites in the hole, Atari might go for it. That's yeah, no, I just wanted to, to give them a fair Service. shake back. 4-1. Oh, Nostalgic's betting on Atari. Four, you can make two. some good money that way. He's never won. Yeah. Um, if Five, anybody's two. actually betting against you and there's odds posted <laughs> and somebody's accepting the bets. 5-3. Which I'm not aware of uh, anybody doing that. 6-3. Uh, one more to go. Oh, 6-4. Oh, 6-4. Good. Keep yeah. it up. Keep it up. And there, good old graphics now. Okay. Oh, six. Unfair bell seven, placement. Seven, five. Uh, oh, seven, seven six. six. Wow, seven, six. I know I am I am making Sprite run a little further, I have to say. Yeah, the, uh, the oh. judge, judge is very unfair. <laughs> Eight, six. Very unfair treating the treatment of these cats. Oh, I don't think so. A little bit. Oh, Atari's taking so long to eat that. Nine, <laughs> it's a very um, gentle eight. paw. Eight, seven. Yeah, eight, seven. Oh, nine, nine seven. seven. Oh, I'm going to make it harder on you. <laughs> it's game point. Game point. Atari looking stunned, looking around. Oh, nine, nine eight. eight. <gasps> Still game point. We're one away. Sprite is confused. He's thinking there's more treats than there are. And oh, it's ten. Oh, ten, ten eight. eight. Good show. Oh, I'll give you the night uh, one, little kitten. A little late on that night. Okay, that's fine. A little fine. late on that night. Woo. Good job. It was a good job. 10-8. <laughs> I have to root for the under, uh, under cat. Yes, correct. The under cat. I mean, you can always go on uh, over under. You know, yeah. if you bet that uh, Atari would get eight. Or... I'm going to throw all of Sprites in the hallway next time. Oof. <laughs> well, Oof. that's hard to do. He still might come first because he's pretty fast. <laughs> because Atari might go after those if yeah. you throw them there. So it might be a bit unfair. Yeah. Um, yeah. Was another close one. That was yeah. pretty good. Um, so let's load up the first game, uh, Skyscraper. Uh, it was first posted March 12, 2014. Uh, hmm. Don't know why I have it as 2017. This build is from 2015, unless I have that mm. wrong. And this is the only 7800 game that I'm aware of that mm. Synth Papalooza has made. Um, so, hmm. We shall see. Let's load that up. I think they want the door open. Oh, oh yes, they do. You want to you want to have some ability to leave, right? <laughs> yeah, they do like the option. Yeah. They don't. They won't leave, but they want the option to leave. So. No, I am not drinking water. <laughs> <laughs> it's pink special it's water. It's pink special water. With a little bit of gin. Uh, okay, do I have the right one up? Yeah, I do. Okay. Now this Hydrating for game is very interesting because it's the only game I'm aware of okay. for the 7800 that uses multiple frames of video to create a static frame. That's done a lot on the 2600 okay. um, using the flicker effect. Water plus. Yeah. It's, <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> what, <laughs> um, so this this title screen mm -hmm. is not a solid... You can't get out of that. <laughs> He's like, ah, um, is not a solid picture. It's actually flickering two oh, images okay. to create this uh, full image, full image of the resolution Neat. that we're seeing. Neat. Uh, game concept by Synth Papalooza, graphics by Synth Papalooza and Pac-Man Red, 2017. Mm -hmm. So this is 2017. Yeah. Bobby Clark, Aerosmith House Games. I've never heard of that because I've never played one of his games. There you yeah. go. Aerosmith House Games. Very nice. Press right right fire to start interesting so wait before you do that i do have to give you some instructions on okay. how to play this because it it's, a bit of... um, it's only a little bit of instructions okay um so you have to walk over bricks okay or pieces of the floor okay and that'll change their color okay and you have to change them all on to on the color? screen to one okay. color um, -esque, yeah. yeah kind of um in that respect um you do have a jet pack which you can use by pressing the button and you can steer as you're using the jetpack. Okay. But as soon as you let go of the button and start falling, you fall straight down. Okay. 
um, and you cannot use the jetpack again after falling straight down. So you get and one it, shot with the jetpack. And the same as for falling off of something. There is no jetpack. So it's only when you take off from a spot that you can land. Um, so, okay. Yeah, has anybody else seen a 7800 game that uses Flickr? I've never seen it. Okay. And I think he's doing it because this is a 160 resolution mm -hmm. and or 320, I can't remember. And he's using it to get more resolution out of it. Oh, I think it might be 160 and that's why, okay. to get more resolution out of it. Um, and did it for the colors. Okay. Oh, actually, um, I was gonna show off his original game. He made this actually uh, in two, th very, very early on, like in the 80s okay. um, or, or 2000s, let's see. He says, hi everyone, many valuable hours of my youth in the 1980s and early 90s were wasted on my old Atari 130XE computer programming and playing a Turbo Basic XL game called Skyscraper, mm. which sadly never saw widespread release apart from my local Atari club and maybe a couple of friends here in Tennessee. Well, thanks to a kind soul on here who was able to rescue this piece of fun from a slowly decaying floppy disk that had been sitting in my moldy basement for the last 10 years, <laughs> I can finally say this game is now available. Mm. This game ain't much. It was entirely done in Turbo Pascal, no fancy graphics, no player missiles, entirely mm. character driven and in graphics one, but it has 40 levels and the higher you go, the more ridiculously difficult it gets. And oh, the musical themes are quite nice too. Uh, and each level uh, is loaded in from disk as you complete the previous one, thanks to the magic of Poke 842 comma one three um the plot you are a jet pack man in the future who has entered into a construction site and deactivated the security system on nice. all 40 levels by traversing the platforms gotcha. whilst trying to avoid a guided missile that wants to kill you uh, really badly uh, yes. that's it simple gameplay but ter terribly addictive uh have at it let me know what you think maybe someone can do a more current version with fancier graphics um now, he doesn't say that he made the game, but uh, I'm he, guessing he, he did. He resurrected, or he did originally? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it says graphics by some... Well, this is the new one. This yeah. is on the 78. And the game concept. Yeah. Okay, so, so, yeah, he did. it is from him. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to load up the 8-bit version here so that everybody can see what the original one was like. Mm. And uh, we're just going to reload it up in a uh, emulator. prepare it it has two discs one for loading the uh it's really funny one for loading the title screen <laughs> and then one for loading the levels there we go okay so let's just take a really quick look at his original game from the knoxville atari users group <laughs> okay that's full screen uh, let's see, Altera windowed. Oh, yeah, that kind of works. Okay, so I'm just going to play it with the keyboard here. Yep, yeah, Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Let me turn that down a bit. Uh, start. Oh God, what just happened? Okay, no, I'm still good. Is that close to the Danbury Metal Detectors Club? <laughs> <laughs> Get ready. Yeah. Okay. So this is, and you can also hit your head on the top mm. to um, to light it up as well. And you can also go past the. Um, oh. Go. It's wrap around mm. left and right, but not wrap around top and bottom. So don't fall off the edge. And there's coins you can pick up, those ah. seeds. And there's also uh, little traps that you can fall into. Um, you can see the brown traps there. So don't fall into that. So this is tile based. So it's a little, like it's imprecise. So it's yeah. a little, little bit more difficult. The 7800 one is not tile based. So it's kind of free form. So the uh, missile is kind of stuck, and mm -hmm. that's kind of what you want to get happen, is to get the missile stuck so you can complete mm -hmm. part of it. <laughs> I'm just gonna finish this level. Okay. Ah. Oh god. Oh yeah. I can wait. Good. Ah, he's coming after you. 
no! Got eaten. Uh, Cute. Is, is there such thing as a Daneberry? Oh my god. Daneberry Metal Detectors Club? What's that from? Is that? No, well, because it was the Knoxville show? Atari Club, right? Yeah. That's funny. What I don't. Was, I have no what, idea. No, what was that TV show? We watched like an episode of it. And it was a de and it was a metal detector club. What? Remember? No, I don't remember that at all. Really? And no. and and it was like really weird subculture from Britain. And oh, the detector detectorists or something. Detectorists? We watched like one season of it. Yeah, was, yeah, yeah. Is that the reference that you're yeah. making? <laughs> That Detectorist, is... it is. Oh my God, what yeah. a rare. Yeah, we did see. I think we saw season one. I don't know if we saw it more than that. It was interesting. Decent. Okay, yeah. so that's that's the game. Yes. So let's uh, take a look at what he's done on the seventy. Dead. There's you a must brand new watch it all. from a month ago. <laughs> oh, oh, they're okay. still They're going. still making it. That's good. Can you wrangle the cat? Cat wrangler. Down you go. Okay, here we go. Let's go to the 7800. Yeah, it does look like a type-in uh, type game. game. Yeah. But there's lots of levels, so it'll be a lot of typing. Yeah, Vitoko, this cat is just a treat monster. Oh, he's going so bad now. <laughs> he just... Okay, go for it. Okay, oh, also. Okay. <laughs> you're going to die instantly. Um... Yeah. <laughs> what? You, you walked into a trap. It's crazy. Okay, the first level. Yeah. The placement of you and the placement of the um, is missile a problem? is a bit of a problem. So what I would do is immediately as soon as it starts. Um, oh. Don't don't walk into that. It's okay. I'm like trying to figure out what's going on here. Game um, over. I just You can died. use the rocket, and just hold it down when Which you is start the, rocket, the game. The I left? think the left, and press to the left. Hold it down immediately and press to the left. There you go. Now you can play. It's just, I think he needs to redo the placement of the rocket and you because it's like that far away from you. I... Now, another warning. You see yeah. those bricks at the bottom? Yeah. Don't walk off of them left or right. You have to oh. fly off of them because you'll just fall down. Oh. See those ones, pink ones at the bottom? Very bottom? Yeah. In the middle? Yeah. <laughs> Vitoko says, I just tried this and I didn't know what was wrong with it. At first, I had no idea either, because you die immediately if you don't yeah. do what I say you to do. Yeah. Because it's it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. The placement of the rocket. It should be a little bit further away. And also... Oh, I didn't need to hit that. <laughs> no, I was trying to fly to the left and it went up. Uh, yeah. Okay. Do the same thing. Oh, I went to the left instead of the right. Oh, I think you, you have should to go, go to the left. You have to go to the right. To the right? Okay. Yeah. I think. Oh, God. I let go of it and fall straight down. <laughs> oh, see? Okay, just die again. Yeah. There we go. Uh, I like that you can collect tile from up, below, or above. Yes, I like that option as well. And this screen also uses the uh, flicker. There you go. Now you got it trapped. It's a very, very dumb missile, which is Thank good. Goodness. It doesn't have um, what path is that binding. Thing? On the, the purple thing? This thing. Oh, that's just a platform you can't change. Okay. Uh, so when I I was looking through, I think it was I was looking through Trevor's um, seventy eight hundred ROM pack, and I was I was like, oh, what is this game? I've never played it. Mm -hmm. And I put it in and I was confounded like Vitoko was when he started up. I was like, what the hell is happening? I'm, hit your head. No, I, but I was push holding the button so I shouldn't have fallen. Oh, well, you, you, you went to the right, hit your head and then went down. And kind of, cause as soon as you hit your head, you fall down. Oh, I didn't know that. Down. Okay. Yeah. Are you sure? As soon as you hit something. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> it is really your bad. Your language. <laughs> it is really bad. Yeah, it's just... The, the beginning's it's, terrible. It's, it's bad uh, <laughs> rocket placement. Yeah. So, uh, for this game, uh, for this version, um, an enterprising programmer, this is posted in 2014, named Revenge, just introduced a new program tool called 7800 Basic. It basically allows us poor schmucks who don't know assembly language a means to easily write and program 7800 games. 
I've had a look at it. It looks simple and intuitive. So you know what? I'm going to go and rewrite one of my old Atari 8-bit basic games as an Atari 7800 game. Introducing Skyscraper 2115. Bad language is a sign of a good game. <laughs> That's so right. So true. It's a game that'll uh, frustrate you. Oh, let the missile come down a little bit. It's okay. Careful. Um... The story so far, you're part of a construction crew on the moon in the year 2115. Your crew is in the midst of a building a 40 level skyscraper, however many levels it uh, ends up being in the game. Uh, one day on site, something goes horribly wrong. The unfinished building security systems and robots go haywire. The maintenance robot and construction site defense systems turn hostile, start attacking the construction crew. A computer virus has infected the robotics and defense systems and the construction crew is forced to abandon the project site, except for you. Armed with only your wits and a rocket jetpack, you must traverse each level, walking across each block of the structure to deactivate uh, the rogue security systems and robotics, one level at a time, until you get to the very last level to throw the main kill switch and end this nightmare. Oh! That's right. Uh, many dangers await. Guided missiles... For God's sakes. Oh my God! Yeah. It's to the right. I don't or know. Or the left. I don't, I don't know. know. It's completely random. All I know is that if you fall straight down, you'll first hit that question mark, then you'll hit the C. Yeah. And then you will hit, you'll just die. Now you can rock it off the C when you hit it, but you have to be pressing the button when you do it. Ooh, that was risky. Rock it off the C. Ooh, you yeah. hit barely. No, I did that last time. Okay. It's not that bad. She evidently hasn't drunk enough of that pink gin. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, right. Exactly. Um, sweeper bots, which pick up your man, dump him off ledges, and impede your progress. Trap systems built into the floor, which are instantly fatal if walked, flown, or fallen into. Plus, there's the ever present danger of falling off the structure itself. And more enemies, which I'll add, to, add into the game as I think of them. Along the way, you can get bonus coins, which can be collected towards the end of getting extra lives. Towards the end, oh, towards to get, to be able to get extra lives. Uh, it doesn't say how many points you need to get or how many coins you need to get for extra lives, but that definitely would be uh, very helpful. Um, uh, adrenaline pills, which temporarily increase your strength. Hey, I you didn't made get it. them all, though. Careful! I didn't get them all! Uh, you don't have to, I guess. I guess it's like you have to get 90% of them. What is going on? You have to go immediately. Press a button. I am. Hold it. I am. And press to the direction. I am pushing both ways. Okay. I must be hitting something. <laughs> I was uh, holding it. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, just die. <laughs> You're better off dying. Somewhere, so, yes, some, uh, a bunch of games have done this concept. Minor 2049 are also... That other game we played a while back on the 7800, um, where there's people going back and forth and you do fall through again, and you change the colors as you walk over them. It has not been released to the public. Do you remember that game? Oh, damn it. I can't remember it now. <laughs> <laughs> If she is frustrated, I think I would be more frustrated playing this one. Joltbot? Oh, it's a blue. There we go. Joltbot 77. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, uh, it could be solved very easily by just placing, putting you on a spot where you don't die yeah. if you don't press anything. Yeah. Yeah. But as it is, you will die if, if you, you don't, don't immediately, immediately start playing. Yeah. And you also die if you don't, uh, if you're not careful too, because the rocket is like, one inch away from you so you also have to not not yeah. only move but rocket away but uh like if you've destroyed the question mark the rocket kills you instantaneously in the third the third try so it's oh. really weird yeah it is quite weird <laughs> yeah you can hit them from below which is a great thing if there's... Oh, you're going to die. Oh, you're not. That's right. You can completely steer until yeah. you hit something or let go. See, that I don't understand. You get enough of them, I guess. Oh, okay. There, I was able to... Careful. Not immediately die. Oh, there.
Um, where it is? Adrenaline pills lay, allow you to temporarily disable missiles and traps and other baddies. Teleporters, which re move you ra to random parts of the screen. Bonus mystery doors, uh, which can give you secret items or kill you. Uh, you don't. You don't know. Ah, okay. So I think you were invulnerable ah. there for a second. Oh, better run. Was I? Fly out of there. Don't hit your head. Um, the original game had 39 levels, each loaded in from disc. The levels, of course, got ridiculously harder as the game progressed. Oh, no! Dead. <laughs> it may be impossible to store all these levels using bank switching, which is oh. where I may be asking help from Pac-Man Plus in this regard. No, I can't. I can't do anything. I just fall straight down. That didn't are That you, didn't happen the first time. Are you holding the button yes. or pressing the button? I'm holding it, and then he just falls. Oh, okay. So, uh, oh, I heard you pressing it. No, afterwards, after oh. I fell, I, I kept hitting it, but it just falls. Anyway. Oh, you can hit them from below. Yes, you can. Yeah. Okay, I'm not done reading, but I will. You want to play? Play. Where, where, where are you? I am Pac-Man Plus in this regard right after that. Okay. Um, there was also only one enemy missile and traps in the floor as basic was too slow to allow for anything else. The game was also written only using character mode. No strike, no sprites. Uh, yeah, no fluffy bits. kittens. No fluffy kittens. <laughs> Another small update. The first 18 levels are back in. This is just for testing purposes. I still haven't gotten bank switching to work at all. It's proving to be a real headache. But you can play the game up until about a level up until about a level, level 17 or so. Some of the positioning of the player and missile are off on some of the levels. You don't say. <laughs> it's pretty brutal. Yeah. I'm going to have to entirely rework the project. This is in 2019. I had to start on a 48k setup, but I need to work it into a 512k bank switch format, which will require extensive code revision. And that's um, the one we're playing right yeah. now. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm going to work up some music. <laughs> I have an idea for the background music for the first five levels. The same music I used on the original 8-bit Atari XL version in 1990. I've been doing some pokey experiments using two-tone and high-pass high filters, so I'm going to introduce this into the music. We'll see how it goes. How do you so, pronounce P-O-K-E-Y? Pokey? Yes. What did I say? Pokey. I like pokey. the bull. I said pokey. Didn't Let's get an instant replay on that. I don't know. <laughs> I do. I do sometimes say pokey, but I would have said pokey for this. Ooh, gonna die. And uh... boom. <laughs> Delay on the game. Yeah. Oh. Uh, mm. Yeah. If you die on the second level, you're dead. Mm. You cannot recover. Um, you can't. Me, you just keep falling. Let me fix that because yeah. I found a fix. I don't know why it does it. Oh. <laughs> But I've found a fix for how to mm. um, fix the audio. That's good. Oh, you've tired out the black kitten there. Oh, poor Fluff. Is the audio better now? Please let me know. Because I'm not sure how... It, was it fine in the beginning? The audio is better for the moment. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, uh, yeah, I've done that a few times. <laughs> Better. Oh sometimes going to the left or right works, and sometimes you just insta die. <laughs> yes. I, I can't quite figure it out, but it, yeah. it adds a little bit of spice to the so game. So when I died, I went. <laughs> so when I died, I went to the right, died immediately. Mm -hmm. And then I went to the left, mm -hmm. fine. Something about the placement of the missile. Well, also it must the, move. Also, the question mark isn't yeah can kill you. Yes. And I think it's the question mark is killing me mm. when I went to the right because I yes. ran into the question mark. It's just it's just like this one. You have to go to the right immediately, and you're fine. Mm. But if you die on this, that will not work. You have to finish this level in yeah. one guy. Yeah. I'm not sure how to get to the right hand side easily. The right? You just float. I think you go down all the way to you the can, bottom. You can, you can go to the left. Like, fly from the left. Yeah. There, that's what I mean. There we go. Mm -hmm. Hopefully I can get enough of these um, things. Like Dark Souls, Death at Any Moment. <laughs> yep. Oh, you can fly all along the top yeah, like this. Yeah, you can. 
Oh my goodness, because you're not hitting your head on anything. No. Okay, that's something. Uh, it won't really help too much in this game, in this um, level. Oh boy. At least he doesn't go okay. through the wall. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, what no! are you doing? Game. Oh, it's game over anyway. It was fine in the beginning, just not in the middle. Oh god. That means it strays during one game. Oh, I forgot. Is it because you were using the emulator or something? Do you think that messed it up? No? I have no idea. Okay. I I That's the problem. I know what fixes yeah. it. I just don't know what causes it. <laughs> oh my god. Fly to the right. I think if you, I think the missile is to the right of you. Mm. So if you fly to the right, yeah, you but die. you hit the question mark. You do hit the question mark, which and can that kill kills you. you. It can. In in the instructions, it said it can be anything. Oh, I see. It can be invincibility. It can be death. Of course, death is terrible. Mm -hmm. And it's not a great bonus. I don't generally know why, don't enjoy death. <laughs> no, I don't know why anybody would hit the question mark if it's a possibility you could lose a life. Yeah, instantaneously. That would be like a last minute desperate attempt to, I don't know what you're trying to do. I'll get those from below. Of course, unfortunately, I've already lost a life. But it doesn't really matter because if you die on this level once, you're dead. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, though, because it looks like you start floating you fall, on the left. But you fall. Like it, It's like you die once, and then the only, the only thing that can happen is that you die. Uh... Bizarre. No! Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh, it was game over anyway. <laughs> I really want to get to level three. Mm. Good luck. Do I go left, right? I go right. Yeah. Right right off the bat, because otherwise you hit the question mark. Yeah, are you above the question mark or no, just No, you're to the, left the right of it. of it. So if you if right you go left, I think it kills you. If you go you can go right, but then if you go left you die. Actually, yeah, if you originally went right, if you go left, then you'll die. Mm. Very confusing. Yeah, it's a precarious spot. This guy should maybe start on, like, at least with something below him, mm. or standing on something, because that's way too difficult. And the fact that it's on the second level, too, like that, leads me to believe every level mm -hmm. you have to memorize... What, which are good and bad questions? Which... Marks? Well, at least, like, where to start. Yeah. And which way to rock it so you don't immediately die. Yeah. Which is not super fun. <laughs> yeah, because Nostalgic says, do the question marks give you the same thing every time you play so that you can memorize which are good and which aren't? Oh, I don't Possible. think so. You can walk over that. Um, you can kind of fly. Because it, it, it becomes a stepping stone. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, oh it worked! God. Amazing. I don't believe you. What am I gonna do here? You can. I I did it. Yeah, I just floated across it. You off just, the A? Uh, you walk across and then float as you hit it because you can jump off of coins, right? Oh. oh come on! Yeah, you just pressed right and. That's button. what I did last time, and mm. I just went. But you you experienced that too. Yeah. You just die die die. So something is. Okay, you go there. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. No! Oh god. Okay. Just... Over here. It's a shame you can't kill it. Oof. Okay, where do I want to go? Probably to the up to the top. Yeah, if you right? can. Right? Don't go for that coin though. No. That will kill you. <sighs> oh. Oh. These are certainly quality construction materials if they're stopping a guided missile. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I'm, I'm guessing it doesn't blow up on impact. It blows up when it hits something it knows it should blow up with. Sure, sure. We'll go with that. <laughs> we'll go with yeah. that. Uh, it blows up on... Oh, you slid through the side of that. That's interesting. Yeah, that's why I'm saying at the bottom there, oh. don't just Don't run off the edge of it. it. You have yeah. to fly off. Gotcha. But yeah. Doko, I'll not try this again. I got frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that... It is a little frustrating. It's the, a little weird. One of the reasons I'm playing it on the show is that the mechanics are awesome. It's pretty I fun. I love these types of games. Yeah. 
Um, not necessarily Minor 2049, but um, uh, these types of games where you have to fill in everything and there's things chasing after you and there's bonus. The only thing this game needs is to start in a good spot, really. Uh, once you start in a good spot, it's it's you're better off. It's good. It's like a puzzle of what to do and where to go. Um, there you go. Okay, I'm pressed to the right and the button. Yep, it's yep. great. It seems but to be consistent. You're, were you just holding the button, or did you holding press it once you oh, came alive? Oh no, no, no! But no. I was holding it too, hmm. and I was just instantly dying. I don't know. That's but I, I feel like if you die the first time, you just continually die. It's oh, really weird. It, yeah. it, it, there's some some bug in there where it it won't work properly. <gasps> it's so hard because there's no room. Yep, that's what happens. Yep. Now I'll go to the left. That was right to the right. Yeah. Somehow I was Instant able to death. recover. I can see speedrunners enjoying this. Yeah, oh, it yes. would be a good game for speedrunning. I'll do one more. <laughs> see if I can uh, make it past level two. I You can't die on level two. Ooh, I made more uh, zero page coasters. Oh, yes. I've been... I got a... I got a cricket during the <laughs> Boxing Day sales. Boxing yeah. Day being a uniquely Canadian uh, holiday uh, where we just spend all the money we have left after Christmas. That's right, to get um, the things we actually Yeah, need. yeah, exactly. Um, um, maybe so you I've can been playing around what a with it. Is? Uh, what would you call it? It's like a um, computer. It's an engraver. Well, it's, it's a computer cutter. Yep. That's designed for crafting, but you can buy different tools. So you can buy engravers, and you can buy uh, different types of cutting tools, and you well, can cut fabric. It's and a plotter that you can put. It's a, a plotter. That's the word I was looking that for. That you can put a pen in, or something that cut, yeah. cuts. Yeah. Or other things. Do they have anything other than pens and cutters? Uh, they have cutters. They have engravers. They can do scoring. They can do embossing. So you can like make um, raised. Put raised details in card and paper and, and draw things with it. You can foil, transfer foil and I mean I think I think um, uh, a lot of people use it to do things like making cards or invitations. Um, but it just it's right up my alley. Uh, <laughs> for crafting. Yeah. Uh, the planet pen is mightier than the blade, why not both? Um, but it, it'll it'll cut vinyl, like adhesive vinyl, so you can like make your own Put make decals for water bottles. You can make cups. It has inks that you can imprint onto onto t-shirts. No! And no! Go to the right. Please work. No! <laughs> fusible vinyl for t-shirts, so you can just whatever you can create, you can like. Go pretty close. Make very accurately. Yeah. Lots of cool things. Lots of cool things. Anyway, I did make some more zero-page coasters. Um, yes. Using the the, the foil. Well, so we can show them in the after dark. I will, and I'll okay. make more stuff. Okay. So. Um, awesome game. Yes. But really hard. Has to... a few bugs in there. <laughs> well, yeah, not really bugs, but bad placement. Yeah. Of, Why does of... the jetpack stop working? That's a good question. Uh. Game mechanics. Yeah. <laughs> Carl G, the cricket is the opposite of a 3D printer being a 2D cutter. That's exactly Yeah, it. that's true. It's a 2D cutter. But it does do... I did get the engraving tool, so I want to see how that works, too. So you can engrave metal and mm -hmm. wood and acrylic and stuff, too. Anything, so. pretty much. Anything that the, it's the, very the tip cool. can cut. What is it made out of? Do you know? It's metal. I don't know. What Generic kind of, metal? I don't know. It's... it's <laughs> Hardness I'd of... have to... I, it, a pretty hard metal, but I'm not it's sure. It's not diamond tipped. Anyway. It'll also cut balsa wood and veneer and different things too so yeah i'm gonna be making lots of stuff Hooray. <laughs> we'll see what creative items i come up with okay so the next game is called crazy bricks mm. and it is from bob de Crescenzo, who's in the chat tonight mm. and it is a breakout type game mm -hmm. on the 7800. Pac-Man Plus, my wife has a cricket and she's been making many things Yes, with it. you cut all the things. Cut it all. And you're just like, oh, it can do this. I have to buy this. I mean, they, oh, whoever conceived it's crazy. of that instrument 
just must be just raking money in from all the middle-aged women who want to do crafting. Like, oh it's my just goodness. ridiculous. It makes um, it easy because... It's, but it's fantastic. And you can if you can conceive it and you can make a, an image, you can... Or download draw it. Draw it, cut it, engrave it. Like, it's, it's just really, really fun. So this game was started in 2011, and this builds from 2016. Okay. Uh, Pac-Man Plus has made a Ooh, billion 7,800 games. Mm. I first posted, quick work in progress, a breakout game called Crazy Bricks. Oh, hey. Being that I abandoned Pinout, I did uh, took what I did there and applied it here. There still will be 32 screens when I'm done, and I want to add something new and different to it, but I don't know what yet. Mm. Left difficulty switch toggles between joystick and paddles, and the paddles go in the right port. Right hand. Oh, you have it. This is um, try the joystick first, just okay. to compare. We won't play with the joystick. Um, so you can change uh, levels. So you want easy, normal, I would... easy. Yeah, easy. I I'll start do. with easy. I'm not the greatest at these games sometimes, so it's good to start off. Oh my goodness, what is going on? Oh, well, it's breakout. <laughs> with two. Yeah, I like you start it. Start with two. Which you is start nice off bonus. with the multi ball. Multi ball. I love the uh, destruction of the oh, um get in there get in get there in there get in the ball. i love the destruction too they crack yeah it's a really nice animation oh it's beautiful they're like glass bricks is it in sync still or is it out of sync last minute adjustment uh, yeah i can see the paddles being good <laughs> yeah joysticks are not the input device you want to use with this type of game eh, it's not terrible but it's it's a little you, you jump around a little more are glass bricks they shatter it's like a ceramic My, balls hitting glass bricks i like Toko it said it might be that the rom is checking for a real cartridge to get the oh. real starting positions oh maybe uh, on the last game yeah. well a cartridge was never made for that game oh. so i highly doubt that and the starting position is the same every single time mm. so i doubt it's like uncleared in for like uncleared spot um uh, uncleared information, RAM or something. Game sound is in sync. Excellent. Excellent. Good. Woohoo. The problem is I don't know when, why it happens or when it happens. So it's hard for me to go, oh, it's time to change it because we changed games or something. Um, so this, this is actually for sale, this game. You can buy this on cartridge. Um, and the store info says, break through 32 levels of bricks that will challenge and frustrate you. You start the game with three deflectors and lose one each time you allow both balls to escape off the bottom of the screen. Keep both in play for as long as possible to rack up big points. Game features 32 unique levels, one or two players, three skill levels described below, supports joystick and paddle controllers. Skill levels, easy. The balls start at their slower speed. This is idea for young children. Young children. Or first time players. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, normal. The balls. Oh, thank you for subscribing, Ace three zero nine three. Right off. New person. I've never heard of that name before. Glad you enjoyed the show, and thank you so much for subscribing and supporting us. Um, normal. The balls start their standard speed. This is good for people already familiar with the game and similar games of this genre. Hard. The balls start at a much faster speed and hit their max speed much higher. Only players with insane reflexes will be able to handle the fast pace Ooh. of this skill level. James Maybe, will be trying that one. Uh, well, we'll be trying that one <laughs> and failing. If I was like really good at Kaboom, then I would be like, oh yeah, I'll go to advanced level. I bet players that are good with Kaboom, are which good at involve all paddle games, <laughs> are good at all paddle games. Because if you're a master of Kaboom, you destroy every game uh, with a paddle for sure. Is it the stream or the game that is causing the balls to change speed mid-screen? Oh, what? Are they? Didn't notice that. No, it must be the stream. Must be the stream, I don't. They're speeding up and slowing down? Is Pac-Man, is everybody else? People are seeing that too? How is that Weird. possible? It's catching up, maybe. The video's catching up? Oh, maybe, but every or is time it, it- Or is the audio off after it catches up? Every, uh, every time after it bounces it, like every bounce, it's going fast and slow. It seems like it skips some frames sometimes. Oh, hmm. I've noticed the ball occasionally shifting speed. It's, I mean, the speed slows down and speeds up, but not mid bounce. Like, I, I know it's, I, I, come on. 
I can see it changing speed on the on an angle on different angles but like it's literally in the middle of a bounce it's changing speed hmm I can do it yeah finally as it moves across an illusion, the I think might be an illusion Ace says, I've been watching your YouTube videos. Great stuff. Well, glad you can join us yes. uh, live. That's great. So you can interact while, uh, while, ah, while we're well live fun. and type in the chat. And... Oh, you this is easy. It's very slow. It's actually kind of boring. So I feel that <laughs> we can cancel it and go to a faster bouncing ball because this is, I mean, it's great for a meditation video, but <laughs> meditation. I, I don't think it's, for it's relaxation. It's too exciting for so, people watching. You're a vicious cat. He is vicious. He needs cl Claws claw clipping. Cut. He yes. is super, super spiky. Mad right Mike now. has a question. I have a dumb question. I know that it's taboo, but I play 2600 games on my iPhone with Java Atari. Nice. Is there a 7800 Java Atari that will work on an iPhone? Mm. Definitely not taboo. Playing no. games any way you want or anywhere yeah. that's convenient, especially on a phone, Yeah. Okay. Is, oh. is great. Well, okay. That's better. Now we can up, up the, uh, the bounce. So I can't, I don't know which one's which because it's ah, impossible to tell. JS7800 says Carl G. Interesting. Oh, JS7800 yeah. works on a phone? I'm not sure. Oh, well, you can always try so, it. Are we both playing? Well, we'll see. It's two players. Um, uh oh. Mine does work. Does yours work? Well, it will. Let's put it on normal. Uh, put it on two. There you go. Yay! Oh, stop chewing. Oh, stop it, chewing. Okay, ready player one. Okay, mine, I've been playing with the paddles. So okay, you're gonna kick mine, my butt, that's no, fine. No, 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 what I mean is it's not gonna be jittery, but yours might be. Okay. Oh, much faster. Yeah, I would twist it around a bunch. Get that lubrication going. Get it, get it nice and lubricated. Ah, missed it, it wasn't fast enough. Yeah, this one's pretty good. It's no jittery, very, very, very minor if anything. Much better speed. Yeah, this looks Especially this looks paddles. like a normal speed. Yeah. <laughs> Not the bounce. <laughs> bounce. 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 Like I said, meditation. So I'm watching a DVD sa screensaver with some minor interaction. Oh, just sped up. Oh, it does speed up. It's quite a bit faster. Hi, I don't know if it's yet. after X bricks. Hi, Spurdy Pants. So cute. He is. I just want to squish you. No. Cute aggression. Cute aggression. <laughs> Your turn. Oh. Nope. It's not moving nope. at all. You have to go the full width. I, it's not working. No, turn it all the way. All the way. Oh. What? Cause, cause there, see, if you're all the way to the left, watch this. Was, watch this. I know. See? doesn't move you have to go all the way to the right oh, okay. or the left because there's a specific you're right a middle spot. range yeah. yeah i thought it was because i hadn't hit the button yet <laughs> uh, no. i always forget you do. these aren't these are driving you. controllers no they're not i have to reteach they just you that keep every going, time going 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 i like the driving controllers yeah they're really mm. cool oh yeah there was something i was gonna show damn it damn it damn it yeah um thomas yench um after we played a game, mm -hmm. oh, his game, mm -hmm. what was it called? It was uh, The Core 2. Mm -hmm. uh, I had mentioned um, about acceleration. Mm -hmm. I just missed it. Acceleration okay. with a driving controller. So that means if you spin it fast and it goes through the, um, the, the range of motion quickly, mm -hmm. That means it'll be, it has some acceleration. It's faster than one to one. Um, but if you're moving it slow, it is one to one. And he made a, a demo to um, to try this out. And I haven't tried it, unfortunately, yet. But I was going to try it out on the show. Um, but then I b just fell behind in time. So I may do that next show on Tuesday. Because that probably is going to be a 2600 show. And it may almost revolutionize the driving control if it works out the oh, way yeah? I think it does. Cool. And it could possibly replace paddles. Oh, great job. <laughs> <laughs> Here's 
This is a little... I like the little jingles. Yeah. Da, 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 have you played Atari? A little bit. Yeah, it does. What is it from? Um, Bob? Oh my oh god, no. I missed both of them. Oh my nose is so itchy. Yeah, it is very interesting news. Um, thank God it's the bottle. Paddle doesn't shrink when the ball hits the top. Oh God, that's torture. When the paddle gets smaller. Oh, it's so torturous. Like in Avalanche. That's a hard game. And this is a bit jittery. I would um, rotate the paddle when it's not your turn. Yeah. That's a bit oh, that's jittery. And press down just a little bit on on it. On it. Oh, I missed it. I was trying to get both of them. It's really hard when they're bouncing exactly the same. Oh, come on. Oh, wait, there we go. Has anybody tried um, Thomas Yance's, um driving controller driver? I'd be really interested in seeing if it uh, works the way I'm hoping it works. Because when we're playing the core, you had to kind of spin it and spin it and spin it mm -hmm. to get it to where you want it to go. Um, but with acceleration, you would just spin it fast and you would get to the other side fast. But if you spin it, spin it slowly, it, it has more precision to it. Oh, uh, no! Game over! One more on uh, advanced. We'll see how crazy it is. Well, on some levels, you get two paddles, one oh. above the other. Oh. Nice. Um, advanced? Oh boy. Yeah, let's try it. Hard. Easy. Oh no! There. Yeah, I'm gonna die immediately. Especially when they're moving at the same time together. It's not, not too bad. It's not easy, <laughs> but it's not no. as bad as I thought well, it might we'll be. We'll speed up halfway through. Oh, that's that, true. that will make it crazy. Like, is this the max speed or is the yeah. max speed even higher on hard? What are you guys doing back there? Naughty things. <laughs> treat based trouble. treat based exploration. Yeah, treat based uh trouble. That's oh there we go. Yeah, now there it goes. Sped up. Holy wow, that's fast. <laughs> oh I can't get out of this. Ah, oh, I can't get out of this. There we go. Yeah, you get stuck. Well, it was bouncing exactly the same every time because I was up against the wall? Are you both controlling something? No, no. no. It's a two player. How's your paddle now? That's all it's right. pretty good. A little bit of jitter. It's better. Immediate death. <laughs> oh, well, I lost one. Oh, uh, oh, yeah. No. That was terrible. <laughs> Hi, little black fuzzy paws. What are you doing? Oh, God. fuzzy paws. It's so hard. It is hard. It's fast. Oh, it hasn't sped up yet. That's good. It must no. be based on time, then? Because it's not based on um, bricks left. Because it would be immediately fast. Yeah. Do you remember, Bob, what it's based on for the... Come on. Yes. I'm not doing too bad on the hard. I thought I would die on the first level immediately. Sometimes it just gets you through the, through the level faster. <laughs> Fatoka says, I'm playing the default game. On the third level, it starts with two paddles. Oh, oh nice. I want to get to the third level, then. Not on... Well, we can do it on easy. Well, easy's well, really slow. No. Normal is probably better. Normal. Easy's, easy's too slow. Easy is slow. That is, what is it? Um, Nutella level? Uh, yeah. As they say in Brazil. Nutella mode, yeah. Oh, Nutella mode or teddy bear mode. Nutella as Atari mode. As used to call it. Yeah, time. teddy bear mode. Ah, oh, it did. It, did. Okay. it was touching me. Oh, you got it. Good luck again doing that. Oh, come on. I hit that. <laughs> That's the danger of uh, two balls at once. You go for both and you miss both sometimes. Mm -hmm. Is it going to go to the right? Let's see. Immediately, of course. Oh! Ah, game over. Me? Yeah, you're player two. Oh, that true. Unless, unless I got an extra ball. Then it's <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, we're going to make it to level three because okay. I want to see. Yeah, no, we should. Easy. Normal. There you go. That's good. That's doable, I think. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. James will at least get to level three. No, I'm not going to. 
Because <laughs> you said that. Now I can at least uh, try and handle two of them at once. It's not as crazy. No, it's a little crazy on advanced mode. And it's crazy Hard bricks. Mode. Crazy bricks. I love how they shatter though. That's, That's fantastic. So nice. Wow, one of them is fast and one of them is slow. Is it? Wow. Or is it interesting? Just... Oh, it is. You're correct. How, what, what determines the speed of the balls? Oh my goodness. Too fast. Hi. Uh oh. Cat. Psst, 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 psst. He's fine. He's going to go after the water, and he's going to fall over my computer, and the screen will be open. Damn oh, it! Oh, blame him. You. Come on. <laughs> Immediately. If you, if you release them, they bounce at the same time you're screwed. Yeah. Like, you, you really have to get them to release Just and bounce at different... Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Doko says, I love paddle games. Yeah. I'm in an inter-level pause just before a level with the Fuji and just one pad. Oh, a Fuji level. Nice. nice. Yeah, the fun thing about these types of games is the uh, patterns that you can draw. Great, yeah. yeah. I feel like that's too fast. It's fast. Ah, oh. too fast. <laughs> oh, I've got one left. Is it going to go to the right? Right about there? I don't know. Ah. It's a much higher angle. Now you're screwed. No. Oh, now it's just going to bounce like this constantly. Oh, ah, oh, yes. Hey, good job. Good job. Okay. Hey. Two are still going. At some point, they're going to match up, and I'm going to lose one. Oh, yeah, you stay I'm up juggling. there. You stay up there. Chuckle, chuckle. Those balls. Juggle, juggle. Keep them in the air. Uh, ah, uh, it's hard. If they both come down at the same time. Yeah, theoretically you can, you can probably do both, but it's but the chances it's you're gonna lose one, you're yeah. gonna lose both of them when you try and do that. Yeah. Oof. Getting faster Speedy. now. Oh, kittens. What's the issue? Oh, oh no. You track the ball's position with fractal coordinates. I'm just wondering if you have the move, uh, ball move half a pixel. I don't know because it doesn't. Some of this, do, it doesn't look smooth. Um, the movement looks a little staggered, but that might be just because he doesn't have enough time to update the ball. Um, it looks like it's less than 60 frames a second, but I'm not sure. It's hard to tell. I'd have to. Do a frame by frame. Oh, mm. damn it. One left. Level three. Come on. Come on. It's so hard when it's the last one. There Yay. we go. Oh, no, Pac Man's pluses. It does move at half a pixel. Oh, two paddles. That's. That's great. I don't know if it's going to be harder or easier. It should be easier. Do you lose one of them at any point, or is it just two paddles two, uh, at all times? Oh, oh, does it bounce against the... I hope it doesn't bounce against the top one. That's the advantage of having two. You can actually get both the balls if you time it upright, because you can hit one with the top one, mm -hmm. then you can hit the other one with the bottom one. Very lucky. Easier because I have to pay attention to two. Oof. Oof. I'm always trying for the um, top one because if uh, the top one doesn't hit it, the bottom one might accidentally. Come on. Oh, nice. Number four. Now the bricks are for 20. A tank from 2600 Combat, wow, which is Vitoko's very low getting, on the... Yeah, I haven't even seen the really Fuji good. one yet. The sounds are really good. Yeah, the sounds are great. Boy, da! Oh, two balls left. Guess I've got some extra lives. Nice. Butoko, what uh, skill level are you playing at? 
Playing it normal, hard, or easy. Another one. Oh my god. I'll need them. This one is just a ton of bricks. Very colorful. Damn it. I was looking at the colors. <laughs> oh, what's this? Uh oh. Bug! Bob was saying before the show started, wonder if they'll find more bugs. <laughs> we found a bug. But this is not the cartridge version. This was the last posted version out of Trevor's um, ROM pack. So it's the bug is if it's two players and one person makes it to a two paddle and Level. the other person doesn't. It doesn't it appear freezes. to be an actual paddle though. <laughs> it freezes the top. No, it doesn't. No. It freezes the top one. Oh, he fixed this one. Okay. okay. Good. So to get this fixed, you have to buy the buy the, oh. buy the cart version. Mm -hmm. There we go. That's <laughs> easy. So hard. A ghost paddle, yeah. It's just there to annoy you. Mm -hmm. Being cat. Mm -hmm. oh, he's definitely being, being a cat. Being cat. Being doing trouble. Cat, doing cat things. Excuse me, I'm off to do cat things. <laughs> Important cat business. <laughs> yeah. Where was that cat business? Business cat. What was that part of? Was that a? That a was comic? the oatmeal. The oatmeal Was had it? business oh, cat, I think, yeah. with the with the the tie on yep. the two cats. Yep. They were pretty funny. It was. Oh, I haven't. What's, what's is the oatmeal? The oatmeal. I've checked up on the oatmeal a long time. No. I just did uh, read. There's a lot. A lot. Read, yeah. Uh, and they. Uh, yeah. I don't know. John Inman. Yeah. Yeah. He was the oatmeal. Or was it XKCD? I don't oh, know. it definitely wasn't XKCD. No, no, that's more, that's stick more rudimentary. Yeah, yeah. Ah, I lost it. Oh, yeah. still have one more. Oh, it's yeah, very it angled, so life. if I go there... Be nice. Ooh. Ooh! I'm going. Yeah, well, they're bouncing that multi off kilter, so this is good. Very cool. Come on. Yay, great job. Great job. No, this, this one is a work in progress oh, that we're playing, but it was released on cartridge. Mm. So you can buy it at the Atari Age store. Uh, if I go there. One, go. Oh, back to one. Oh, got an extra one. Ooh, great sounds. Making quick work with two balls going. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, two left. One. One left. Two, one. You can bounce it in a in a specific direction if you hit it with your paddle on the left, right, or middle. Nice. Oh, Woo. oh I made it to the combat. Yay! Combat. That's awesome. And the um. The flow of the colors on the screen is so cool. Mm -hmm. okay, I do, do like this that. this angle right here. Yes, get it Another life. Another life. Oh, I'm glad I was able to show off some of the levels. I didn't yeah. know how, how well we would be uh, playing Definitely this advanced is too hard, but uh, oh, normal yes. is not so bad. Normal is, is normal. It's what uh, it's a good level for me. What is he up to over there? I don't, I don't like it. There's, <laughs> there's cables in He's there. He's digging in, in old consoles uh, uh -huh. by the side of the room there. Oh, just, damn it. And he's uh, destroying hundreds of worths, worth of dollars of uh, console cables that are irreplaceable. <laughs> he's not he's chewing doing. cables. He's not the cable chewer. That's Atari. That is true. Tari loves the taste I of vinyl wrapped uh, <laughs> copper or whatever it happens to be. <laughs> PVC wrapped, I don't know yeah. what they make cables out of anymore, but. Uh, especially braided cables. Oh, he loves oh, it. Oh, he loves a good braided cable. Tastes good against <laughs> nice the. And against chewy. the. Uh, the um, Teeth. Uh, not incisors. What is the term? Canines. Canines, yeah. Canine teeth. They got the big canines. <laughs> 
Oh, oh. more to go. <laughs> the black cat just jumped. We heard up the tarn and over. scrambling upstairs. Yeah. Someone needs to invent the opposite yeah, of cat now. Calming down. Yeah. Oh my god, look at this. Oh my goodness. It's not square anymore. Yeah, yeah. Vitoko oh, mentioned that too. Wow. Now the play field is not square. Missed that. Oh, the low ones are so hard because it bounces immediately. At least it's slow. Yes, get up there. Ooh, good. Extra life. It's fairly generous with the extra lives, which it is, is good. Thank goodness. I need them. Oh, oh it nice. really breaks through them. That's awesome. Hi. Ooh, angle. So, oh, it's so angly. <laughs> Stop being so angly. Ah! Okay, let's One see more. if I can get this right off. About there, maybe? Oh, come on! Oh, oh there oh. we go. Oh, woof. So it's not the taste, it's the texture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is the texture, isn't it, Atari? Atari loves the texture. Ooh, Space Invaders. Ooh. Ah. I do enjoy these breakout style games. Um, sometimes I'm not very good at it, depending. I, I like the ones where you get power ups and mm -hmm. multi balls. And this Arkanoid one's got a style. Arkanoid style. This one's got a bit of it with the uh, multi balls. Yeah, I like uh, the multi ball. That's a good. Uh... Nice patterns and colors. Variation. Good variety. This one. Oh, is that the last one? Uh, no, you this got is one the more. Last, last ball. Oh, not again. Nope. Not another. Not again. Come on. More to get. Come on. Yay! Oh my goodness, this is lasting a lot longer than oh I thought. Oh my goodness. Oh oh, that's going to be hard. There's no sneaking around that one. Yeah, that one. Uh, Literally. Yeah. Sounds different each level. Too. Yeah. It's good variation of colors and graphics and sound. Oh. On Stella says, fast. I'm waiting to see if there's some truly evil level, like a level um, in which your paddle is at the top and the bricks are at the bottom. <laughs> oh boy, to relearn everything. Pac-Man Plus says, thank you, I wanted to make something that was between Breakout and Arkanoid. It, it is. It's got a bit of both. Yeah. I don't know what level I'm on. <laughs> I've gone uh, through quite a few of them. Six? Seven? Oh, no. Way more than that. Oh. Way more. No. Yeah. Six? Seven? Eight? I don't know. Way more. I don't think it's way more. You haven't done 12 levels. Oh, yeah. No, you haven't. Oh, yeah. I'm going to die because you know, this is my last life. Oh, game there over. We go. Good score. 74 4. Yep. I'm happy Looks with that fantastic. one. Fantastic. Yep. So that is in the Atari H store if you're interested in purchasing mm. it. And I believe it has a box as well. Mm. Um, so we're on to the last game. And it is another Pac Man Plus game. It is P Ms. Pac Man Twin. Ms. Pac Man. And we're going to check out a video of. The original arcade version of oh, this. Oh, it's from the arcade. Kind of. <laughs> kind of from the arcade. Uh, it is, but it isn't. So let's take a look. Uh, YouTube. There we go. Let me just change the cartridges there. Back to this. Pack and pal. <laughs> so uh, this is the arcade version um it is an extensively modified version of ms pac-man created and sold as an unofficial pac-man bootleg conversion really in argentina really yes from 1992-3 wow uh the game was made without permission of namco uh or general computer corporation and was found mostly in argentina in south america cool so somebody's playing it in an emulator because yeah. it's so rare I couldn't find 
any footage of an actual arcade mm -hmm. machine, as you can imagine. Um, what is this? This isn't the game. No. There's the title screen. Miss Pac-Man. Mm, Ninety-two, ninety-three. There, there's the actual. Come on, play the actual game. I don't think this this person doesn't actually real? plays. There we go. Yeah. There's some footage of the actual game. Oh. Uh, hmm. I don't think it's playing correctly. Something seems a little off. Because Reddy is in the middle. It's like, why is Reddy staying in the middle? Yeah. Um, but anyway, we'll switch over to the actual uh, 7800 game now. But that's, that's an idea of what it kind of looks like in the title screen of it. Uh, consider bootlegs often change very little at all. It's impressed with somebody did this ex this extensive. It is very extensive. This this hack of the game it is unbelievably extensive actually okay oh let's switch it over before i load it up let's see right from the beginning oh actually it's a two-player game so i'm gonna mm. plug in the second joystick and take out these paddles Oh, they actually use the fruit sp sprite for the other player, so there's no fruit in this game. Oh. Interesting. So it's basically a fruit running around the screen, <laughs> and you can control the fruit. Control the fruit. But how did they do, like, just the pellets are quite a, are quite extensive of a hack. Mm. Like, the fruit thing, yeah, I can understand that, but the doubling of the dots, they must have, like, offset the dots and kept an, mm. another area of ram kept track of but Each even of then mm. that's that's a lot of a lot of stuff going on mm -hmm. so a ms pac-man twin starring ms pac-man copyright 1984 not really <laughs> i guess ms pac-man is okay so press the button oh oh there we go now you can so let's play two player or okay. actually you play yeah. one player and no, no, we can play. We should, no, oh, do you have, have a little bit to, to read, and right. um, somebody, the computer will play with you, so it's actually a good uh, oh, demonstration nice. of the computer. Play. Let me know if the sound is off, and I will fix it. Because it might be. Because it does that for some reason. Now. Um, so, uh, Bob posted in 2015, May 18th. This is pretty cool. Next work in progress. Uh, there are one player and two player options. The one player option plays against the computer. The monsters go after the closest player. If one player is not alive, they automatically go after the other one. Uh, uh, the only. When you die, you start off exactly where you died. In yeah. fact, you never leave the screen until you lose all the lives. This is good. When you're dying, the monsters go after the other player, so it should give you enough time when you start again. If not, oh well. Uh, first player to clear the maze wow. ends for the other player as well. Um, this is kind of fun and where it will stay until we get actual rules from the real game. Of course, if there are any bugs, please let me know. Um, and then the final post on this game, because it is still a work in progress, um, was May 22nd, 2015. Okay, final for now. Change the high score... Uh, uh, value now it has its own. Change the logo. Remove the computer lives counter when playing one player. So which one are you? You red? At the top. So you have to get the red dots. Yeah. And the other uh, computer player has to get the yellow dots. And you can't eat the yellow and vice versa as well. Oh my and God. and the rules are. Um, Whoever finishes their dots clears the board. I, <laughs> I get stuck. I don't know what it is. It's the old four-way joystick. I think thing. it's a little bit of that, but also um, it's a t maybe a slight delay in response. Really? You're going. Yeah, you're ready. Oh, no. Oh, no, I'm dead. Yeah. Out of left. Okay, now we can play two players. It's fun. It's fast, though. It's really fast. I find there's almost too much on the screen. It gets you a little confused. <laughs> Two. 
Berries. So I am the green bowed. I'm gonna do one. Oh. Ah! They run away from you. <laughs> they run right oh. into me. What the hell? Oh, come on. Go oh, in the direction God. I keep oh. asking you to. Ah! Run! Ah! Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, you're almost done. Almost. One more. Yeah! Yeah! Woo -hoo -hoo. Not having a brief pause when you eat the ghost is weird. I'm so used. Oh, my God. Yeah, there's no, uh... No slowing down on this game. Oh, and then not very long on this level. Eat ghosts. Oh, no, no. Oh! Oh, I'm so sorry. Like a millisecond too late. Like, just barely. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I always end up slightly pausing. Oh, damn it. Oh, game over. It pauses before your game is over. It's like, oh, you have another life? No, you don't. <laughs> I don't have another life. Either. It checks whether you have another life when it's time for you to start up again. I think so. Which is very, <laughs> a very funny uh, spot to do it. Yeah. Oh, made it to the second level. Yeah. Red dots are hard to see on my CRT. They are, mm. yeah. Okay, let's do it again. Press button. Let's see if we can make it past the second level. It is uh, challenging. It's it fast, is. don't you find? I find they move slow relative to the ghosts it feels compared they to other do. games. Yes. Yeah, if you like playing on super speed too. I do love super speed. <laughs> that is a fun option. It is. It's pretty awesome. My mouth, please. Yeah. Nom nom nom. Into my belly. Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> One millisecond before you eat it. It's like, yeah, yeah. Yay. Nice. Oh, we're very close. Yeah, I you almost you, finished. You almost too. finished. It's probably the I wonder best if there's a way possible. to uh, both Co finish at the same time. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Doubt it, because one person has to eat it before the other person. Like just at least barely. I don't know if there's any point in the other person. I don't know if there is either. I mean, it's a good idea to save the other person if there's a problem, right? If they're trapped, even that's hard to coordinate. Ah. You do know that. Um, ah! Oh, 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 sorry. So, no, no, I was so cornered. Come here. Come here. Um, that if you're eating dots, you're slower than if you're not eating dots. Oh, is it? Yeah. Is it one of those? So if you want to get away... Don't eat dots. Don't eat uh, dots. Oh, yeah. my God, they reversed. That and also, you're faster when you turn corners. They turn <gasps> corners slower. Yeah. So if you want to get away, do a lot of cornering <gasps> and don't eat dots. Damn it. I think I'm dead. I think so. Oh, yeah. I died immediately. Wonderful. What? Oh, you weren't dead. I wasn't dead, and I just died again. I'm... Oh! Oh, my God! Three in a row? How is that possible? Not paying attention. Oh, damn it. Yeah. Twice in Whoa. a row. I don't know if that was three in a row. Oh, you One. just have two more. You can do it! Yay! I don't resurrect, do I? Oh. Oh, cutscenes, too. Nice. Very nice, Bob. No resurrection, no... That's a shame. Uh, no sharing of lives. Oh, or you're getting an extra, life. yeah. Because we don't share score. Mm -mm. So we don't share lives. 
Nostalgic. Well, we've answered that. <laughs> yeah. What there's no the there's no CPU or there's no ah. CPU. There's no um computer playing the other person. If oh, you die. after no. Yeah. glasses on. <laughs> Something would be 3D. Kind of. You had uh, red... red-yellow glasses? <laughs> uh, 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 uh. No. No, I don't like it. I swear they're faster than me. Oh, they're fast. They are really fast. No! Ah! Okay, come on. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> Ah, it's so quick in between uh, mm. levels. <gasps> no, no, gonna die. Ah, run, 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 run. Ah. Oh, no, no. Who thinks Pac Man Plus should finish this game off? Yeah. Yes, please. I mean, isn't it finished? Is there any problems with it, Bob, it's, it's that you know good. of? Yes. Oh, subscribe. Thank you, MPLI gifted tier one subs to five people. Oh my god, thank you so much. Oh, That's MPLI says, I love that you play retro. Thank you for watching and um, gifting all those subs. That is wow. super awesome. Imperial that is so, so, wow. so generous. Wow, that Thank is you. very generous. Oh. Uh, and Buck Owens, thank you so much for resubscribing. Uh, no, it's oh. the, those are the five gifted ones. Oh, I see. Ones. So Buck Owens, Atari 2600 dude, old style, no, retro gamer, no, beef supreme. No, 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 now they're all, they're all coming through, yeah. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Wow, thank you so much. Oh, now that's a fun game. I love games with that twist where two people can play at once. Yeah. Uh, I know um, John Shampoo does that a lot with his games. Yeah. So but it's showing with... up on our screen, though. Yeah, it is. Right there. Top left. Oh, there. Okay. Yeah, never mind. So it doesn't interfere with the graphics. Yeah. Um, Keeping the retro dream alive. Yes. Yes. Um, <laughs> and so it's really nice to see it. Oh, it's, it's, quite, it's quite loud for them. <laughs> it is loud. Um, it's nice to see it on a Pac-Man game because it's perfect. Yeah. But I never would have thought, oh, double up the dots yeah. rather than share the dots, right? Yeah. So you're each running, you're so each, each playing your own board. Yeah. You're literally both playing your yeah. own games. Yeah. I At never the same time, so you're not flipping back between player one and player two. It's so really, really smart. That's super cool. And that Bob ported this super rare game. Yeah. Um, is is amazing. Yeah. Um, Bob, I don't know how you find all these Atari games to port. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> these obscure Argentinian... Uh... Yeah, well, he knows a lot about Pac-Man. Yeah. <laughs> and, he, and he announced yes. just before the show he got his uh, baby Pac-Man game working. Oh, really? Because he bought a broken one. And a broken been... actual, like, arcade unit. Yep, yeah, with the <sighs> pinball arcade, and he's been slowly restoring it, and he's finally... Got it. Uh, got it done. Pac-Man Arrangement has two players at the same time. Yes, oh, that's true. But that's a new game. Dots. Oh, is it? And I'd love for somebody to pour Pac-Man Arrangement. That'd yeah. That'd be so good. Cool, cool. Um, and that's the one that has like a scrolling huge screen and it's has like crazy super Pac-Man and yeah. lots of power-ups and it's more like a, a puzzle. Okay. Than, than an action than a, game. Than a more traditional Pac-Man game? Yeah. Like being chasing and chasing. Yeah. I mean, it has all yeah, that, yeah, but yeah, it's yeah. more like a puzzle. Yeah. Somebody alerted Ooh, me to this. Wow. Bootleg. Okay. I guess if your name's Pac-Man Plus and you port Pac-Man games, <laughs> Get you start getting a lot of uh, Pac-Man intel. <laughs> yes, you do. Um, so that's all the games we have for today, but we're going to do some After Dark mm -hmm. in short order. Mm -hmm. um, 10 minutes? Probably won't delay it too long. I don't think we need too much time. Just a very brief Just to get break some more and we'll water. be back. Yeah. Um, oh, water. <coughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> we'll be continuing on 
we'll be continuing on uh, with our uh, quest to finish all the load, load runner, runner levels Woo! on the 2600. We'll be uh, continuing on with level 27, I yeah. believe, because it's a super fun game. Yeah. Uh, is there a two player version with Pac Man and Ms. Pac Man at the same time? Ooh. I think so. I believe I saw it once. Really? No, he, that person said it. I didn't oh. see it. Yeah. Hmm. Very cool. Cool, cool. Um, so I want to thank everybody for watching. So Remember, waterfalls. stick around. <laughs> yeah. Don't leave. We're going to be playing some more yeah. game, old school gaming. Yeah. Thank uh, you, Mr. Zarnaroop and, yeah. and Mrs. Zarnaroop, if she's also a well watching. So. Yep. Yeah. And thank you, Pac Man Plus, so much for the two awesome games we played tonight Atari 800 XL Rules, Vitoko, RC7E, Carl G. Uh, nostalgic, Dan EVC, MPL Live for Thank all the. Thank you for the gifts. Lots and lots Amazing. of subs. Thank you. Huge ass. Uh, Jolt Bolt, a new person. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for watching. Chitlitla, mm -hmm. Carl G, Ivory Tower Collections. Who else is talking? Chalcedony Mel, now. Mad Mike, Ace3093. Um, Caffeman 2D. Oh, and that's all the names. Oh, Vidoka won't stay. It's near 1 a.m. Oh, no. That's a late night, but thank you for joining it's us. A Friday. On your Friday. On. We, we appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's great. Yeah. Uh, everybody's sticking around. Mm -hmm. um, oh, Atari 2600. Yay! Dude. Oh, yeah, you were there. Oh, I skipped over you. Yeah. And Mike Soul. So, um,. Where is it? 1 a.m. What is coming up? 1 a.m. Yeah, where is it that it's 1 a.m.? Greenland, says Chitlitla. Yeah. <laughs> Greenland? No, 1 no. a.m.? No, no. Because uh... it's only 11 on the East Coast, and but you'd have to add like five hours to get across the ocean. Where do you live in the ocean? <laughs> <laughs> um so coming up on the show what time is it it's just eight oh, it's okay just eight. um we are going to have a developer spotlight on andrew davy less next friday uh next show we'll probably be playing 2600 games mm -hmm. um and then the tuesday after that we have the atari Lynx special <gasps> where we're going to actually be able to play the atari Lynx. that's awesome our new consoleized atari yeah. Lynx and be able to stream it not pointing a camera actual capture of atari mm -hmm. Lynx, of a real one and then after that not the friday but the friday after um is the nominee reveal of the atari homebrew award mm. nominees and the voting opens for the fifth annual atari homebrew awards mm. and we start playing through all the awesome games that got nominated six in each category over the next uh, five episodes until, and that leads up to the Atari Homebrew Awards. That's gonna be a lot of fun, playing all those amazing games. Oh, I'm so excited for and that. And all the yeah. six platforms, 2600, 7800, 5200, 8-bit, Lynx, Lynx, and Jaguar. And Jaguar, yeah. Yeah, that'll be a lot of fun. And yes, the Atari Homebrew Awards are on February 25th um at noon on a saturday so no excuse mm. for anyone in the world except for east asia because <laughs> it's not <laughs> so great asia. there it's very early in the morning there it would be but yeah. i don't know of any viewers that are there so it's, it's you most, never know you mostly never know. australia europe and north america and it's fine for all those yeah and that's kind of why i put the show at certain times mm. yeah until uh, Understandable. an asian viewer says something or an asian uh, contingent of the atari yeah. community <laughs> yeah i don't know how big it was there atari that's a good question yeah maybe I it know. wasn't i know in in japan they had tons of different computer systems yeah. i mean they did in europe as well but i don't know i know they released the 2800 in japan but i don't think it did very well because yeah. they're quite expensive and, i don't and know there's probably a lot of competition too so yeah systems oh, and yes. yeah yeah i don't know yeah. i don't know anyway cool. um oh i didn't show that on the screen but it doesn't matter i read it out oh um so that's it for now but stay tuned don't go away the <laughs> stream will continue and the countdown will start and we'll be playing some more awesome homebrew with load runner playing some more games all right so um 
Go grab Don't your... Don't disconnect. Go yeah. get some water. Get your water plus. Get some snacks. <laughs> get some water plus. Yes. And we'll see you in, in about 10 minutes. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. See you soon. Bye.